we start dissection from here right if you are going to dissect my i hope after my death not now if you are going to dissect or maybe some surgery uh, this subclavian triangle right you have to remove the skin and underneath structure these structures constitute the roof of the triangle these structures constitute the roof of the triangle, triangle. now when you will let's suppose now i'm showing from here skin skin as a vertical line right so let's suppose here is skin right under that there should be everyone knows what is this superficial, superficial fascia. fascia right under the skin superficial fascia i will go in detail later and then there is deep fascia these this is normal arrangement in our body there is skin and there is superficial fascia and deep fascia but when we are talking about the roof of this triangle specially there are some peculiar things special things about its superficial fascia number 1 in this superficial fascia there is a muscle present a thin sheet of muscle and this muscle is called platysma what is it called platysma platysma so if we say that this first component this is coming down this first component is skin this whole component is superficial fascia here is deep fascia what is it deep fascia but this is deep fascia of the neck and it is a very special name just to make the trouble for students or i don't know doctors the special name of this fascia is investing layer of deep cervical fascia deep cervical fascia this is investing layer of deep, deep cervical, cervical fascia, fascia because it is investing around the structures of the neck, neck. there is skin then there is superficial fascia and there is deep, cervical, deep cervical, cervical fascia so this is investing layer of deep cervical fascia right this is superficial fascia in the superficial fascia we have to remember few things when we talk about superficial fascia over the subclavian triangle it means in this region right i hope this is my clavicle not femur now look here so in this area you remove the skin you will come across what superficial fascia and in the superficial fascia which muscle is embedded platysma and then there is from cervical i will not going to detail but cervical plexus nerve is coming and which has c3 root and c3 and c4 this comes pierces the deep fascia right it pierces the deep fascia and come into the superficial fascia and this nerve this root value of c3 c4 it spreads into what is this superficial fascia superficial fascia it is approaching the skin right now look here you remove the skin then superficial fascia within the superficial fascia you had latissimus muscle. muscle also you had this very special nerve this special nerve comes down in superficial fascia and divide into three branches one branch is going medially one is intermediate one is going laterally and they are just spread over like a fan like this they spread over the clavicle right now this these are spreading over the clavicle so they are called very easy name supraclavicular nerve what is the name of this nerve supraclavicular supra nerve. nerve this supraclavicular nerve has these three branches so some people just call it there is medial supraclavicular nerve there is intermediate supraclavicular nerve there is lateral supraclavicular nerve and they are they are actually cutaneous branches they are sensory branches and they are responsible for sensations on your collarbone right or responsible for this inner and lower part of the neck and clavicle right you know there are very special sensations here you must be knowing it i know that so why that is actually you are stimulating the other person's supraclavicular nerves to twigs right so and 
this supplies front of the chest also and a little bit up to shoulder so supra these supraclavicular nerves also passing through the roof of subclavian triangle or because these are supraclavicular nerve of course they will pass through supraclavicular triangle is that right but where in superficial area and if they are present in superficial area then they are present in roof then they are present in roof if this is the roof now now how many structures in the roof we have discussed one one i'm missing yet but still what is this skin, skin. then this is Superficial, Sup fascia. superficial fascia and within superficial fascia I have shown two things one nervous tissue neuronal tissue what is this supraclavicular nerve, nerve and what is this platysma and then superficial part of external jugular vein right there are there are veins which are sometimes even visible they are called external jugular vein and external jugular vein and its tributaries they are also this is external jugular vein don't confuse it with internal jugular vein which is deep to the which is a deeper structure internal jugular vein i'm not talking about this i'm not talking about this i'm talking about something more superficial more external which is called external jugular vein and this external jugular vein external jugular vein and this is platysma and here was skin now how many things are present in superficial fascia actually we can say between the skin and deep cervical, deep cervical fascia there is superficial fascia which is sandwiched mm -hmm. with three more components superficial fascia with supraclavicular nerve uh, what is this platysma muscle. platysma muscle and what is this external jugular vein 